guys! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in case you're new here, I'm Sophie Ramos. I create lifestyle and travel content. So today's video will be a travel vlog featuring a place here in Calatagan, Batangas. Today's actually Christmas and my family and I are celebrating the holidays in Stilts, Batangas. I've been wanting to visit this place for a really long time already because of its unique accommodation. It sort of reminds me of Maldives because they have certain rooms that are on top of the ocean. But because it's Christmas season, it's very hard to book those and when I inquired it was already fully booked. We decided to book the Simplicity Bungalow because that's the only one available during this time. It's actually very cute. It's like a small house. This place is actually really really huge so in terms of social distancing you can really practice it here. We actually haven't bumped into any other guests yet. In terms of the distance from the beach it's not that near. It's not like right in front of it but it's walking distance and they also have shuttles available if you don't want to walk. We're gonna be going to the beach later on. So before before I show you guys the place and our room, I just wanted to share first our journey to get here. So we first had a stop over in Tagaytay where we had a really good lunch. It was really relaxing and we also encountered one checkpoint to get here but it was no problem at all because the hotel already coordinated with the guards or the police there that we would be dropping by. Overall, it was a smooth ride to get here. I think I would just suggest that maybe you can leave Manila early so that you can come here much earlier. Check-in time is about 2 p.m. So we're here at La Capri for lunch. It's on the way to Calatagan. It's located in Twin Lakes here in Tagaytay. So it's really nice because it has a balcony that's overlooking this really nice view. I think it's a hotel or an event space. So I recommend that if you're going to the resort, drop by this area for lunch. They have a lot of other restaurants that you can choose from. So we're going to have crepes here and enjoy the breeze and the fresh air. Let's stay here. One month. <laughs> so this is the entire stills. They have this huge map to guide us. We are here and we are going to head to the beach. We are gonna walk to the beach now. So 
it's so nice here. It's so peaceful. There's actually no people at all. I think because the place is really big so you don't really bump into a lot of other guests. I know this place is also famous as an events place so I know that a lot of people do weddings here and now I know why because it's really really nice and a lot of open space. already it's really close by it took us around less than five minutes to get here it's about 347 steps but it doesn't feel like it it's really nice actually we're only the ones here except for one other guest that we saw very serene as the name says so blue the beach is really nice guys I didn't expect it to be this beautiful the sand is very fine and white and the ocean is really clean so I highly recommend that you visit this beach worth the drive. It looks like a painting! So we'll take some photos. As you can see, my sisters are already taking and I will be joining them and show you guys some of our shots here. It's really warm so ang sarap mag swim it's just that there's some small creatures like i held a crab i think i hope it was a crab <laughs> but yeah we have the place all to ourselves so i really recommend that you guys come here it's so nice that's the accommodation i was telling you guys earlier about imagine if you're staying there you get the view of the sunset it's so beautiful Simple things that we take for granted. We're gonna watch the sunset. That's my mommy. Say hi, Ma.
so beautiful at night too. Look at all these lights. guys so today is our second day here in stills and we're having a really really great time so if you notice this travel vlog is quite different from my usual vlogs i've been trying to really elevate my videos aside from investing in better equipment i took a class right before this trip so that i can make this video quite different and more interesting than my other travel vlogs so i took a class on skillshare which is the sponsor of today's video so skillshare is an online learning community where they offer thousands of creative online classes and you can learn just about anything on Skillshare. So I took up the class Travel Filmmaking for Beginners. It's just a 25 minute class but I learned a lot. It talked about different small steps that you can do to create a better story for your travel videos and also it guides you throughout the editing process if you're starting out as a travel vlogger. So I think that this class is very helpful if you are planning to do some travel videos. You don't have to be interested to become a travel vlogger to join this class. So if you guys are interested to try out Skillshare, I have a free membership that you can try out so the first 1,000 to click the link below in the description box can get a free trial of their premium membership so the premium membership gives you unlimited access to different classes and the actual price is just less than $10 a month so it's really worth it and I highly recommend that you guys try out Skillshare so if you guys are enjoying this different style for my travel videos and want me to continue it for my future ones let me know in the comment section down below so we are going to head out now and we're going to swim again and take some photos Harmony Beach. So this is the second beach here. So there are three beaches here. Yesterday we went to Serenity Beach and this one is so nice as well. The shore is much longer. The sand is also white. There's not much people. So you can see here the floating cottages that I mentioned. Super nice here guys. It's so blue. It's like a painting. Soaking in some vitamin D. <laughs>
actually very close by as well. It's just beside Sweet Spot, the restaurant, just walking distance. So the farther one is the Destiny Beach. So that's where most of the water sports are done. So we'll be heading there later because we're going to do banana boat later this afternoon. Riding the shuttle, they have an open one so that we can explore the place and see everything. shuttle to the last beach this is called destiny beach it's also very nice it's the farthest one so you have to take the shuttle it's not really walkable this one also has cottages around it the shore is quite rocky so it's not so safe to swim here it's more for activities like snorkeling and i think kayak as well super nice very peaceful very quiet here just like all the other areas in this resort Wow, look at this place. It's so beautiful. lunch already we just took photos we got a cabana it's for free as long as it's available so you can have your food delivered here and then it's overlooking the beach really nice ambiance at least you're away from other people so they have a bunch of nipa huts like this that you can rent out for free wow patay gutom
guys it's our last day here in silts and we're checking out the day so yesterday we had a lot of fun after lunch we rode the banana boat and i can't remember the last time i rode one the cost was 475 per person for a minimum of six it came out about 2000 pesos plus but it was really worth it because the ride was really long it was so funny because they have this added helmet it's like a shower cap so we really look funny i'll show you guys some clips of our banana boat experience we fell several times which was the point <laughs> so I really recommend that you guys do it if you're here and also try out their other aqua sports after the banana boat we headed to the ocean to just swim and relax and we left all our gadgets in a room which was really nice because we really got to just live in the moment and just focus on family time whenever I vlog I really try to make it a balance to document things and also to live in the moment and just be present I think that most of my precious moments are the ones that are actually not documented so before I end the vlog, I just wanted to give you guys a full review of this resort. First, for the booking process, it's pretty seamless. The only medical requirements needed are a health declaration form and a medical certificate certified by a doctor saying that you don't have any symptoms of COVID and that you are also well and healthy. There's no travel pass or swab test needed in order to enter or book this resort. There are some checkpoints on the way but the hotel already coordinates your car details with the police or the guards there so it isn't a problem. Next, for the rooms, they have different cottages available so they are best known for their overwater or the floating cottages but there's only about six of those so I think it's very hard to book. We booked the Simplicity Bungalow because that's the only one available during this time and to be honest it was really really tight for five people. It's supposed to be good for three to five but because it only has one bathroom and one bedroom it was really cramped and very tiny for all of us so we had no choice because that was the only room available here and we just settled for it. The room is very basic it comes with air condition water heater refrigerator no tv and no wi-fi available inside the room wi-fi is only available in the restaurant or the lounge area so the cost of the room that we book is six thousand per night for three people so if it's more than three people it's an additional 1300 per person so for five people it came out about eight thousand six hundred per night i'm not just sure if that's the same rate all throughout the year probably different during non-peak and peak season that fee already comes with free breakfast buffet and also access to all their amenities. So for me, it's already worth the price. So Stills is really, really huge. They have lots of pools and three beaches available. And you can also do a lot of different activities such as spa and massage, ATV trail, mangrove tour, diving, and other water sports and activities. It's really well worth the price because you can do so much here. So you can actually book a day tour here. It costs about 450 pesos per person for non-peak and 500 for peak season but I don't recommend it because this place is pretty far and the drive would be very exhausting back and forth and you won't be able to make the most out of all the activities and amenities here so I really recommend that you stay here at least two nights in order to really make the most out of the place. The resort in general is pretty old but I think it's well maintained. I like that they put attention to each and every spot like you won't find a spot that's pretty empty like there's always a swing. There are lots of tables and chairs where you can chill. I also like that they have a lot of small sign here all around the place with inspiring messages and I think it's just a nice touch especially if you're here for a detoxifying trip or just to relax so it's just a good reminder in terms of service even if the place is really big there's staff everywhere who can easily assist you and they are also very pleasant and very approachable everyone greets you so you feel very welcome also the shuttle service is readily available and the wait isn't too long so even if you book a room that's far from the main beaches it won't be a problem for the food I was pleasantly surprised because it's good and decent. They also have a wide menu for lunch and dinner. It's a mix of Italian, Filipino, and American food so I think that whatever you're craving for they have it. For the breakfast they have a buffet which is also very generous and the menu changes every day so you won't get sick of it if you're staying here for several nights and the service is pretty fast too. 
Overall, my Sophie star rating for this place is 4 out of 5 stars. My family and I really enjoyed and had a good vacation here, even if it was just a quick one. I would definitely come back and hopefully be able to stay in the floating cottages next time if they're available. I would also recommend this place for corporate gatherings and also wedding venues because it's really big, as I mentioned several times already. We also felt very safe because the cottages are well dispersed so we don't really get to interact with other guests. I think that it's a very good option for vacation especially in this new normal of traveling i highly recommend that you visit this place and if you guys are interested to book as well i'll leave all the details down below in the description box i hope you guys enjoyed this travel vlog and if you did leave me some love down below comment and like this video subscribe if you haven't and i hope to see you guys in my next one bye